Good day everyone, my name is Senzelo Shenkabini and welcome to my YouTube channel. On this channel, I give you insight on what it's like to be homeless, surviving the streets and also how to rehabilitate oneself once you have left the streets. For today's video, I will not be tackling any question regarding being homeless, but I will be doing a story time. Yeah, and nosy people are happy. <laughs> anyway... <laughs> For this story time, the story time is titled um, When a Homeless Person Found a Dead Baby a dead baby in front of our student residence. And this is how the story goes. By the way, this is what we exper I experienced. Well, maybe I can say we because there were also other students as well. Anyway. Um, this occurred in 2013. I was doing my third year for my first degree. I was staying at a student residence in South Beach, Durban. Uh, I'm not going to mention uh, the university, <laughs> but if you live in Durban, you know which university those residences are for. Anyway, um, it was, I think it was during the week, it was maybe a Wednesday or Thursday, it was morning, I had to attend a lecture in the morning at 8 o'clock, yes, that's when lectures used to, used to start at 8 o'clock, I was, I got ready, I ate breakfast, yeah, I ate breakfast, and I exited race a little bit earlier because the bus would leave, the bus for campus would leave at 7 o'clock in the morning. So I exit, exited race at around 6.30 because I wanted to go see the sunrise in the beachfront. Yeah, the perks of living in Devon. And so I walk out of race, I head off to the beachfront, the beachfront is like near uh, Addington Hospital. Yeah. And so I watched the sun rise and then I left that spot at around 6.40 because I didn't have to walk back to this. It's not far, it's like five minutes. So I left and then I walked back to this. So once I get uh, in front of uh, the building, the student race building, I, I was waiting for the bus with all the other students. So whilst they're waiting there, a homeless person comes by and he digs. He basically was looking for food, so he digs up in the dustbin. And then he digs up. I, I think I, was, I, I didn't even pay attention because, I mean, okay, let's be honest, you know how we don't pay attention to homeless people when they're digging in the dustbins because, like, okay, that's your business over there. We are not going to look. We're just going to focus on our phones. Yeah. So I wasn't paying attention. The only time I noticed that something had gone wrong was when the female students started screaming because I realized that ah, this homeless person had literally lifted up a baby, a dead body of a baby, out of the dustbin. And he lifted it up and he threw it on the floor. And this is what made uh, the female student scream. The head of the baby then rolled. So this is what happened. Because I'm sure you're wondering how, how, why was the head of the baby rolling. Well, uh, the student that had committed such an act had uh, fallen pregnant. She did not want to raise this baby, basically. I think maybe she, well, they said she told the father that she was pregnant and the father said, uh, no, I am not uh, going to be taking care of this baby because number one, I'm a married man. Number two, I already have children. And number three, I think he was a taxi driver, so he couldn't um, afford to be able to take care of the children from his own marriage and also this side baby and so 
I guess the female student felt the, that she had no other choice but to then try to abort the baby. The problem was that she tried to abort the baby when she was, I think she was six or seven months. Yeah, six or seven months. Because the baby had literally formed. Like, you could see the head. Well, was the head formed. You could see the head. And when we obviously saw the head rolling, um, the police were called. And then found out the whole story that the father had denied paternity, even though he was dating, I guess, the student. And then she felt that she had no other choice but to then abort the baby, even though the baby was six months in gestation. I, so this is how she aborted the baby. So I think she she got um what can I say herbs but if you live in South Africa I'll just say muti <laughs> she got herbs and she mixed those herbs in uh, juice because this is what she said she mixed those herbs in juice and then she drank those herbs basically those herbs are used for aborting uh, babies but they are used for aborting babies at uh, four or three weeks, not six months. Fine, she drank those herbs, and then, obviously, she proceeded to then start to give birth to the six-month in gestation baby. Fine, she gave birth alone, by the way, alone, in rest, at rest, alone. She gave birth to the baby, and then I think maybe we suspect that the baby might have cried because, you know, you once the baby comes out of the womb, of it cries. So since the baby cried, I, I don't know which, whether she walked or whether she crawled, but she took a knife. And, yeah, that the baby said because the baby was crying. And you all know that babies scream when they cry so she cut off the baby's head then uh, she cleaned the room where she um, gave birth in I guess we can call it giving birth yeah. yeah she cleaned the room where she gave birth in and then wrapped the baby in plastic and then went downstairs to the bin downstairs and threw the baby in there because obviously if it's wrapped in plastic no one's going to dig through plastic the municipal, the municipal workers that call it garbage aren't going to dig through plastic they're just going to take what's in the bin and throw it in the truck however on that day a homeless person decided to dig through that bin and voila a baby was in there um, her roommates were also suspicious when they came back from campus because since she had given birth in that room, she literally cleaned the whole unit. Like, I suspect that there were two or three bedrooms in that unit. It was basically like a flat. And she cleaned the whole, the whole room. So I don't know whether maybe she started to bleed a lot and the blood might have gotten into other bedrooms. I don't know. But she cleaned all the rooms. Like literally. It was cleaned in her room and said that they came back and found a thoroughly cleaned house. Clean with bleach and all. And they became suspicious because now I will. You even went into our bedrooms and cleaned. Aye, <laughs> what's going on here? And she even washed the dishes. Obviously, she also wash, washed uh, the knife that she used to exit the baby. And, of course, when she cleaned, it was suspicious, but then, you know, 
they didn't pay much attention to it. It was only, all of this was only then revealed after the homeless man was digging through the dustbin found the baby in the dustbin. And then the police had to be called. And at that exact moment, while, whilst we were still waiting for the bus, <laughs> the residence assistant or the student residence assistant called all the female students and said, no one is going to campus. We are going to squeeze. <laughs> we are going to squeeze everyone's boobs, everyone's uh, breasts. Because apparently, when you're pregnant, you produce milk. I don't know. I've never been pregnant, <laughs> so that's why I'm asking. So she said, "No, no, no. Female student is going to campus. Every one of you here, we're going to squeeze your breasts." And at that moment, the female student that had exited her own baby, she then admitted that he, she was the one that did it. And then she also explained why she did it. And so, yeah, that's how a homeless person found a dead, body, a dead baby's body in a dustbin. Now, I don't know with regards to the story with uh, who was wrong or who was right. There are many um, facets that contributed to this act. Um, with me, I would say I would not judge the student. I don't judge the female student. However, I do wish that she could have kept the baby and then put the baby in a orphanage yeah because at the time i mean this was in 2013 so there was there were means or there were ways that she could have literally just taken the baby to an orphanage around durban there are orphanages that do take uh, children but anyway uh, please do like share subscribe and most importantly please do comment in the comment section and i will see you in my next upload Hopefully it will be a story time.